Are right, you ready, gangster? Ready as I'll ever ever be. Welcome back, gangsters and gangsters, to another episode of Enjoy the Show. It's your girl Aja. And it's your boy Kevoski. And you back rocking with the realest. The realest to ever do it, man. This is the Enjoy the Show podcast. What do you do, baby? Why me now? Why me now? Why me? Why me? Crank my I N D E P E D E N T D. You know what that means? She got her own house. She got her own car. Two jobs work hard. She a bad bro. Uh, you ain't no sit down. You ain't no sit down. You ain't no sit down. All right, y'all. No okay, down. okay, okay. I, I can't. I, 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 you he spelled it. independent wrong. I, I just did. want y'all to know. I did. I sure did. I ain't even. Wavy put the song out for a reason. That's My bad. that Louisiana was, Louisiana school system, everybody. No bap. <laughs> 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 nah, let me stop playing around. But um <laughs> I was like, what are we talking about today? So Kev, you know, we have great introspective conversations about black film and television all the time, right? Yeah. So on today's episode, I figure we list like, you know, our top five black actors of all time. Like the men in the culture who are holding it down. Yeah. Handling business. Okay. Giving us that five generation. Okay, okay, okay. Generation, year after year. Okay, 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 okay. And, you know, we just, we got to give them their flowers because we've seen them in so many episodes of TV, so many films. It's like, why should we not celebrate you? Huh? Tell them. Okay. So, well, with that being said, well, you, you want to start it off or you want me to start it off? I mean, I'm, I, I, I got a good one. Okay. Heavy out the gate. And this is in no okay. order. I'm going to just say this is, this is in no order. Okay. This is just strictly, you know, making a list. I like the talent. I like what I see. This is the first one out the gate I'm going to go with Lorenz Tate. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. Okay. Lorenz is an actor. Uh. Like, Old Dog and Menace to Society is not Darius Love Hall and Love Jones. Uh. Then we're two completely <laughs> different That's range. characters. That's range. Ranges, people, feelings, emotions, situations. Everything. Darius ain't got no gun. Old dog killing nigga in the first scene. Like yeah. you know. Old dog not walking out the house without that. It, without the strap. So oh, I got to give it to Lorenz. And then if you seen him in the Inkwell, he's playing like a dork. Like he wow. went, and that's a year between Menace and the Inkwell. So it's like from a gangster to a dork. But he play. He can play both. In the same span. Yes. Like he didn't have to learn nothing new. He had to change nothing up. He just knew. And then went to Dead Presidents, and he was. That's a deep role. Their president is kind of like the Five Bloods, and they go to fight in Vietnam, fight in the Army, come back home, no job, everything different, PTSD, yeah. he's sick, on drugs. like. Damn. Yeah. And then go to play a lover boy in Love Jesus. Jones. She love that love Jones. Black women love Love Jones. Please don't get it twisted. I'm surprised. If you ask a black woman her favorite romantic movie, Love Jones, a black woman, it's going to be in that conversation. <sighs> Okay. Yeah. All right. But continue. Continue the list. I'm, I'm interested. So you got number, me intrigued. Yeah, because I had him, had him out the gate. So with number two, I gotta go with Morris Chestnut. Okay. Okay. Because okay. Morris been around. Okay. We yeah. see Morris from the jump. Yeah. So to see him be Rick, Ricky, like yeah. he didn't have to die. Everybody love Ricky. Everybody want Ricky to be alive. And why didn't you? Why didn't you zigzag when you run? Morris is tired of that question. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> but to start off is as Ricky, and then he jumps into Lance in the yeah. Best Man. Yeah. So now he's like really living out the football dream. He died in Boys in the Hood, but he comes back I'm in the Best dead. Man. And he playing for the Giants. He all that. He ain't shit in the Best Man though. Cheating on his fiance. Got mad when his fiance cheated. But you a cheater. Type of nigga. The only bad part about the best man is that his homeboy smashed his future wife. Would you let your homeboy stay around? Never mind. Boy, girl, ah! don't you know me, man. Watch out. You let your homeboy stay around the family, the pack, but he's the godfather of your children. Insanity. Of your of your babies. Yeah, no. But seeing him in the best man, the brothers, two can play that game. Vivica Fox played the shit out that man. I loved every second of that movie. You want some yeah. real ga- ladies? You want some real game? Two can play that game. Got it all for you. It's a good movie, in fact. Yeah, indeed. Indeed, that is a good movie. Fox, we, don't, we don't got movies like that no more. No bad. And then, the, you know, he was in the game playing with The Rock. 
You know what I'm saying? Perfect Holiday with Gabriel Union. Not easily broken. He gave us a T.D. Jakes film with Taraji yeah. P. Henson. And then he was in Like Mike with Bow Wow. Like, so come it was on, like... Like Mike. <laughs> played a great asshole role with Like Mike. Oh, my you know? goodness. Not a what? good mentor. Just a dick. A horrible man. Just but then, like... Jesus. When he came at the end, he yeah. adopted both boys. It was like, okay. Yeah. It made up for how horrible of a human being it he did. was in the entire film. For sure, for sure. So, you know, I went with Lorenz, went with Morris. Number mm. three, I got to go with a man by the name of Scott Diggs. Scott Diggs. Known by his stage name of Tay Diggs. Wow. Yeah, I'm going with Tay Diggs. Well, never been named Scott Diggs. <laughs> I am dead. I'm going with Tay Diggs, like, as an actor. Because he's like a theater kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was a very thespian. I know my lines. I'm here for the craft. But that nigga can play in The Best Man. That nigga yeah. can play in The Wood. He's in Brown Sugar. He's in All American. Like, oh take these God. skins. All American. <laughs> Woo. Love all he American. a dog in All American. He's really like. His actor is good in All American. I can't say the same for about everybody else on the show, but I can but definitely he's say. But he's the OG. He's, yeah. He's been around the block and back. He's hey, just how Stella got her groove back. With Bobby Angela Baker is the best actor on Not All Bobby American. Baker. Yeah, definitely. Tay Diggs, Bobby Baker, you know. Oh, no, he's the OG. He or is it, it Billy Baker? It's Billy Baker. It's Billy it's Baker. It's Billy Baker. Ah, my fault, Tay Diggs. My fault, Tay. But that's what I'm saying. He, he, uh, Best Man Holiday, like, he got, he got hits. He got, he come out the gate with hits. Yeah. Brown Sugar. How, my favorite is him, him in the wood, honestly. That's what I'm saying. Like, he a drunk ass nigga the whole yeah. movie. He plays it so well and. Just schmizzed all he, over the place. Oh, he threw up. This is three hundred dollars Ferragamos, nigga. Yeah. Ferragamos. He just. I don't. I don't know how I get married today. Like, okay. <laughs> Ron, are you serious right now? Right, uh, the day of the wedding, you got the suit on, baby. We can't even. We here at this point. There's nothing we can do right now. We have to get married. Bro. No, it's. it's I'm so saying right. we because at this point I'm getting married too. Your homeboys that went on a whole day journey to to make sure you get uh, get your wife. We got to do something. So, number three, this is going to be, you're going to be like, what? But number three, I'm going to give it to Ice Cube. What? I think Ice Cube is great. Like, I think Ice Cube in film what? is great. He's a great actor. Don't get me wrong, but I didn't expect him to be this high. Top five? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's probably not that, it's probably not that thought out, but he's up there. Friday. He was horrible in Players Club, but you're like, damn, this is fucking Ice Cube. <laughs> he like, was horrible, or was his? Or his, was his it? no, his acting was great. His character fucking sucked. I like him all about the bent. Like this nigga always is down to jump on a car, to smoke a joint. Like he do shit I like. like <laughs> <laughs> he gonna cut somebody out. He gonna roll some weed. He gonna kick it. Like his characters are, they do fun stuff. Yeah, they do fun stuff. Yeah, I like to see them have fun, and I'm just like, okay, this is this is dope. And then last but not least, I'm gonna go with Omar Epps. I think Omar Epps is another one of them that's just like talent can play whatever, do whatever, can juice. do whatever. Juice to loving basketball, crazy. What crazy run, crazy phenomenal run. Honestly, he has he got hits. He no, got he's hits. an actor. Yeah, he's an actor. He was just performing arts. High school. Definitely. Like he high quality. He can play that shy, quiet role so well. Like, you would think his name is actually Q. But he got the swagger that's just like... Yeah. I don't fit in this pocket, this pocket, this He could pocket. be the lead role in a lot of things. Whether... He could do love movie or gritty dark movie. Yeah. He, very well. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty smooth. And once you can master those two ranges, like, you can do anything You in, in there. You, you in can there. tell a few jokes. Like, on the wood. Like, you could tell a few jokes. Like... Yeah. Because <laughs> because he wasn't the funny man, he exactly. was it. It was rolling exactly. He could just be like the, I'm from North. I'm North Carolina. I could just give you a little one too. I might North Carolina. I mean, he got juice. High, he was in higher learning too. Hmm. I didn't see higher learning. Yeah, I liked higher learning. Kev, you missing out some classes when they shot up the school. Oh my goodness! I thought higher learning was a comedy. No, ma'am. Oh, wow. <laughs> But yeah, that's my top five. Ice Cube, I'm a he's a he's a great he's a placeholder. Ice Cube is a definitive. This list will definitely change. 
Yeah. So Kev, your top five. Who you who you rocking with? Number one, I'm going with the greatest, mm. Denzel Washington. Okay. For short. Okay. Undoubtedly. Black people love Denzel. The greatest actor I have witnessed in my life. Yes, for sure, Denzel Washington. Okay. That brother can act. That brother can do anything. And his it's his role in Training Day that has changed my life because I've been reciting the movie Training Day since I was like seven, eight. What's your favorite line from Training Day? Like reciting like, yeah. ooh, he shot me in my ass. Like, like Jake. Jake, bring back my money, Jake. Like, like Denzel ain't never had to perform that way before, and it's the best because you're playing the bad cop. Did he win an Oscar for that? I don't know, but yeah, I, I'd something. give him two. Jake, you're the bad cop. We're not supposed to love you. Why are we still rooting for the bad cop? Because it's Denzel Washington. I ain't stopped rooting for Denzel until I got older and realized what the movie was about. I was like, wow. Denzel, you the bad guy, but you 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 charismatic in all of it. He got swagger. All of it. Through all of it, everybody looking like hmm, and he's like (laughs) black leather jacket, got the do rag, two guns, Jesus peace. Ooh, got the nice ride, man. I'm not even gonna lie. That shit just like. I don't know. You can't pay a better role and then somebody to execute that role like that. I gotta watch training. Oh yeah. my god! I'm glad because I almost. I know. Up. I know the line where he's like, "King Kong don't got shit on me." Shit, ain't none. Ain't none. Alonzo, that was his, his name. That's his name. Alonzo. It's always some like smooth. Yeah, smooth shit. come on, man. And then, man, that's just that movie right there changed my life. And it's not even just that, Denzel and. <sighs> What's another movie that has me geez. enthralled? Ooh, he he got game is a great Denzel. And he got game. Is I a think great it's movie. underrated. Denzel was serving Ray Allen up on that court. Real talk. Ray Ray Allen knows like his first movie role, and he was you know they rehearsed the scene and the scene is supposed to be the son winning the game. Denzel get on that court. And he really giving him buckets. He's scoring every time he okay. gets the ball. Ray See. Allen run over. Wait wait. Ray Allen run over to Spike and he's like Spike. He's not supposed to be doing He's crying. He's not supposed to be doing that. What's going on? It's not what we rehearsed. Actor. Serving him up. After that. Where are you going? I'm I'm still on Denzel. I don't know why. Because I had to say, the next, the other two movies that had me, because they were both coming to my head at the same time. It's Flight, in which he plays a drunken pilot. Phenomenal acting. You're a drunken pilot, bro. You crash the plane. You but you it. save us. You, you save the it. day. And that has but it was it, your fault. You exactly. It's crazy. It's a crazy dynamic. But we love you. But we hate you. But thank you. But fuck you. It's just all of the same. Drunk man. Yeah, drunk man. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, thanks, black drunk man, pilot guy. <laughs> and that's tied with American Gangster, which is phenomenal. I mean, that's that Chef's Kiss. Great body of work, cinema. Thank you, Denzel, for that. Those two movies have have. Or tied under that hits. training day. Like he got bangers. Malcolm X. He played Malcolm X. And John Q. That's the last movie I'll talk about mm-hmm. with Denzel. That actually and I'm not even like naming all action movies. You see that. These are theatrical flight in <laughs> in John Q are <laughs> cinema. To hurt you, to get you, to make you feel. You going to the ends of the earth to save to your, educate you to, to save all your of son it. like he did in John Q? Uh, I'm, I'm way more radical than he was in John Q. I'm, what? I'm, you going off, you going off I'm the grabbing rails? nurses and doctors and, and putting them in different rooms. Like, look. Who got the heart? If you don't give me the heart, I'm going to take your heart right now on this table. Who got and they're going to be like, <gasps> they're like, no, please. And then I just, boom, I let the gun go off, run into the next one. I just killed run that doctor. The next one. <laughs> give me your heart for my son. Yeah, police would have been stormed in and yeah. shot it up. Did something. Sadly. Number two, yeah. I would like to go with Will Smith. Willard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Will, William. Willard. Willard Smith. Yeah, that guy. That guy is phenomenal. Yeah. And I can't name what movie, but I can name a series of movies. His best one is 
I can't Pursuit. give you his best. I don't know. Pursuit of Happiness. No. Okay. Anyway, next. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pursuit of Happiness and, and, and Bad Boys 2. Ooh, see, the list of movies I was going to name don't even have Bad Boys on it. Like, I love Bad Boys, both of them. What are you going to name then? I was going to name I Am Robot. <laughs> no, yeah. I Robot. I said uh-huh. I Am I Am Legend uh-huh. and Hitch. Those three Man. Will Smith movies Hitch. are the ones that I will pour out of his dis- discography and say I love. I'm putting Shark Tales over Hitch. Hell no. Nah. Hitch is a great movie. It tell you how to Mac. That show you how to Mac a little bit. Let's show you how to put a little uh on a woman. A little A. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Bad Boys too. Bad Boys is good too though, because that's I like that action role. I like that, yeah. like, you know, he's a he good cool. cop. You know, but that's a, that's what I had once told you about that him trying to play that hero role. You know, hey y'all, everybody look. I'm saving the day. <laughs> yeah. I'm a smooth cop. Martin. <laughs> Even when he was drunk in seven pounds, he was still like, <laughs> yeah, "There you go." Right. Kill all them people. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, I get it. I see what you want here. <laughs> Will won't be the good guy, and uh, ain't nothing wrong with that. But nah. You but know, that's just, that's just what it is. Do, it do is. your thing. Do your thing. Do, do your that. thing. Number three. Mm-hmm. Samuel L. Ooh Jackson. Ooh wee. Yeah. Number Ooh three. Ooh wee. Okay. In. These are some. Keep going. Yeah, no, no, yeah. You know, I know a little song. Come on, girl. Yeah, you know, yeah, I know a little jump, yeah. jump. Um, now I would say Lakeview Terrace. Okay. Coach Carter, Ooh, of course. Okay. And. Um, My greatest fear is the Deep Blue Sea. Never seen that one. All right, I'm going to spoil Deep Blue Sea. Y'all, okay. I hope y'all seen Lakeview Terrace and everybody seen Coach, Coach Carter, Carter because that's just motivational. Deep Blue Sea <laughs> is about sharks. At this underwater facility, and they're experimenting on sharks, and they're giving sharks like brains, mm-hmm. and the sharks become super smart, yada yada. They break loose, they destroy the underwater compound. The underwater compound's sinking, and then the people that are trapped in there, L O Cool J is included. He is the <laughs> chef on the ship. Oh my ship. goodness, he had the hat on and everything. And and he was it, like fighting a shark or something. He was fighting a shark. L O Cool J killed a shark himself. One man. So then, um, in the middle of the movie, probably like at the peak hour, Samuel Jackson is giving a speech to the guys and girls who are trapped underwater. It's probably like seven, eight of them. And um, they're thinking, like, how are we going to get out of here? We're at this point where we can't get out. We're all going to die down here. The sharks are going to eat us. And Samuel's like, hey, <laughs> hey. And he gives them this nice, motivational, great leadership as speech. And then at the end of it, he says, I have an idea. Or um, something of that nature. And as, as he's presenting his idea to the gang, a shark jumps out the water and rips him back into the water and eats him. Like Samuel Jackson dies in Deep Blue Sea? Yeah, not even, doesn't even make it past like an hour. Dies. Probably at the peak of the movie. Like They're eating. gonna find a way to kill a black person. Yeah. The oh, shark they, jump out the water? Yeah, like. Oh my goodness. Samuel was on land, that motherfucker came out the water, didn't like yell. Yeah. Yeah, ripped him apart in the water. Good lord. He was like a black scientist and everything. That's what I'm like, saying. Yeah. He had like he was dignified. I think and, he almost died in Jurassic Park. And then L. O. Cool J saves the day to be the last with another white guy. Yeah, like he was under the Soul water. survivor. Is that yes. what that is? That mean they be on Twitter all the time. Yeah, <laughs> man, that's him <laughs> fighting super smart sharks. So that's phenomenal. I'm that's number it. two. No, that's number no, three. No, don't you have like a lot of strong black men? I would have said um, on snakes list. on a plane because I'm tired yeah. of these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. Yeah. Nah, he like that. Number four. Mm-hmm. I would have to say. Same. I actually just say four and five because oh, I they're kind of yeah and like. I say Idris, mm. Idris Elba, that role in Daddy's Girls and, <laughs> and Suicide Squad, so interchangeable, so much range being displayed in there. I love them. Yeah. I love them both. Both movies are great, so it's like, you got that. And Obsessed. Shout out to mm. Beyonce's cameo. I love that so much. That's beautiful. That's beautiful acting by both of them. Yeah. And the range by Idris is just crazy great. Yeah. Especially because in Suicide Squad, I, I, I truly loved his role. 
You know, and he was able to be British in that movie. Yeah, he was so, able to himself. You know, be at, like do your accent, and then you know you're like an anti-hero. One thing about me is I love anti-heroes and anything TV show, movie, books, because it's like you're expected to do good, but you can't because that's your underlying flaw. Right, like you, you're, you yourself can't do good. Bad mind. And it's like, damn, I can't help it, and it just played that. He can do that. It just can be the anti-hero. Will Smith got to be the hero. He and can be the that's what it is. Because he don't mind being fucked up. Like, Literally. like he's, yeah. what, You all want me to kill the baby? Okay. Um, want me to rob the bank? Cool. Omar Epps. I think that's just... That's a given. I love Juice. Strong black, like, just figure. Like, I love you know. loving basketball. And it's just like... He as well. Another guy that can hit all the range for me. I he mean, can be an asshole. He can be a sweetheart. He can be that star athlete. All of that. Yeah. Sports. All of that. Yeah. Star athlete. You can be like gangbanger. You can be lover boy. Them three? You got me, dog. You good. You good for sure. I'm going to watch a movie if you in it for sure. You got, they got Gangbang your name in them boy. front credits. I'm like, yeah, I'm watching. <laughs> that's, a nice, um, that's a nice mix. That's five. And then I included Mike Epps. He was gonna be on my list. I had to include my apps for oh real. Oh my! I couldn't goodness. leave him out. He was gonna be on my list. You know yes. why I had to include why? him? Why? Because you put me on the Upshaws. <gasps> you like it now? Yeah. When I when I go back and look, when I think about it, like the Upshaws was good. Yes. My apps was pretty good in yes. that. Yes. For just a, a regular sitcom, like it's funny. It's everything and like. I know you haven't seen this movie, but what? Resident Evil nah. is a movie with zombies. <laughs> He's in it. And he's in it. He's a pimp. Is he playing? I was going to say, is he a serious He's character? like, he's a pimp. No, he's all comedic value. <laughs> but he's killing zombies as a pimp. And yeah, like, it's, but it's a real action movie, though. It's a real he's action. A it's really like slight horror action. Him getting a pimp role in a horror action Gold pimp. guns and everything with the fedora tilted. All of that. He's like, Mike Epps is one of those actors that he reminds me of people you went to school with. He reminds you of an uncle too. Yeah, like a funny drunk uncle, but then he's not even drunk. He's sober, he so this is really him. And then he a just pimp. smoke weed and he give you real advice. He's he's all of it, but he's funny and that five plus one list of people. Yeah, all right. I'm I'm watching a lot of things. If one of them or two of them are in it, oh, I missed. Up, I know who you was finna say. You ain't say your dog. I did not. I'm gonna take off Omar Epps. And okay. put Wood Harris on. Okay, okay, okay. That's who I thought you was going to go I with. I forgot. I had froze, man. I forgot. Right there when I got the Idris, man, yeah. I was looking at this list, and I forgot Wood Harris. I'm putting Wood Harris over Mike Epps and Omar Epps together. Okay. I Actually see. tie him with Idris Elba because okay. Wood Harris can act. From Paid in Full in The Wire and BMF. That was Man. it for me. He I gonna, knew he gonna play a gangster. He gonna play a. That trifecta told me that Wood Harris is is, is really one. him, really him. No, like no, no I, I give it like, to you. Like really him. He got it in swagger. He got it in acting. Ooh, yeah. him in winning time. Like once again, in pockets. Really, he can, he can really just do it all. He can be gangster. He can be. He can be like Ace. He can be very. I think I think it was paid in full for me though. Yeah, that did it. Yeah. Paid in full was really that 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 motherfucker that showed me that oh you like that you really like that because yeah. the movie is so good and then you you lead the movie to greatness and he's like the hum- he's like a Franklin Saint just like they're all this, those characters are always like they're fitting the same man. origin story yeah yeah mind focus like I'm being straight quiet as I about got the it. money like, yeah. yeah I yeah. don't want the fame I want the money I can keep that I'm slightly humble. When I get it, I got it. You know, I won't put my people on, BB. I won't put my people on. You can eat. We can all eat, baby. Can we confirm that Kermit killed Ace's mama and sister? Definitely. I think that's who that was laying on that bed. Yeah, they killed them. Them people was yeah. Sick, 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 sick. That's a nice. That's a nice list. I like. Yeah. I like those lists. So from the list, now we can jump into our verses. Who we got for verses this week? Today, <coughs> boom, 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 hey, hey, boom, 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 hey, hey, for the verses today. <laughs> Who we rolling with? I'm sorry, y'all. I keep getting on the drum roll. I want it to be. Let's actually, um, let's start with the women first. Throw you at a doozy. I don't even think we discussed who, what women we no, were going to go for. We have a list. Who you going to go with? I got you. I got shit today. I want some heavy hitters. So I'm gonna go Ooh. Nia Long versus Regina King. You suck. Yeah, that's where I'm going. 
You suck. Yeah. I wanted to put us in a little predicament. Kev, you suck. Yeah. There's just no way in the hell I can pick either or. You're not supposed to. You're you're supposed to be conflicted, tied down. That's not fair. Discombobulated. This, look, I'm just saying. Okay, I'm going to give Regina King her roses because she was in 227. Like, she was a child actor on a popular black show. Okay. And she had, she had black OGs on the show, you know, with her. So they were... You know, pushing her into this baby, this is Hollywood, this, yeah. you know, mentors. Like, she had some OGs. Yeah. Regina King was in Boys in the Hood with Nia. She was in Friday with Nia. Mm-hmm. Regina King was in Poetic Justice. In fact, she was. Ah, she was in Poetic Justice. And, and this Christmas. She's Riley and Huey in the Boondocks. She is also in this show Watchmen, based off I of heard the movie. The Watchmen was cool. Yeah, and she's actually doing a great job in that show. She's carrying, just saying, because the show is kind of it's hard to watch for me because I like the movie so much. Kev, once you said this Christmas, now I'm conflicted. Jesus, okay. Now, nah, yeah. Now when I look at it, I well, look at the catalog. <laughs> I am conflicted because you would think that it's not. Like, I ain't gonna say like Nia just gonna get out of there, but. It's a, it's a matchup. Virginia got some, some yeah. bangers. For real. Between this Christmas and the boondocks, you kind of got me. It's like. Yeah. It's kind of like, dang. Damn, because I love the boondocks. That's what I'm saying. But, but Nia Long. Okay, she been in Friday. She Fresh been- Prince. I see you talking about Friday. I'm talking about Fresh Prince. Dang. You, she was my love and shit. Yeah. What are you talking about? What you mean? Sheesh. Friday, Boys in the Hood, Fresh Prince, The Best Man, them four. Big Mama. She's in Big Mama's house. Come on now. Come on now. Kev. Oh my God. She's in the Cleveland show. I did not know that's Nia Long. Yes, bro. I did not know that. Big Mama's. She was in Soul Food. She was in Love Jones. I got to get. Oh, uh, we were at that point. I <laughs> see, we're at that point of confliction. Love Jones versus the Boondocks. Love Jones versus this Christmas. Love Jones versus Poetic Justice. Ah! <laughs> it's serious. I need to flip a coin or something. I can't just. No, it's actually pretty serious. It's 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 like motherfucking. She was in Are We There Yet? But Ice Cube. But like, why have I been waiting to say that for like twenty seconds? <laughs> Literally with Ice Cube, like, and two kids. kids. like When they were jumping on the bed at the end of the... Me and my brother do that. We go to hotel rooms. And oh, Jesus bed, Christ. And jump from bed to bed. It's just off that movie. I just... Alone. Oh, that wow. sucks. Yeah. Wow. A single... I'm sorry. I said single mom's club. It's not what I meant to say, but that's a great movie with Neil Long in it. Are we there yet? Poetic wow. Justice, The Boondocks, Kev... Can we forfeit? This Christmas. Can't, ooh, Jesus. Oh, man. This is... Uh, I can't... Jesus. Uh, this Christmas and the Boondocks? Point of wow. Justice? Is this, would this be a tie? This might be our first tie. Kev, yeah, this was kind of hard. This might be a tie, this but I mean... This was kind of hard. Me, personally... This if is I had just to me, pick, personally. If I had to decide, I would potentially say... I know who you're picking. You definitely know who I'm going to pick. I'm going to say my baby, my sweetie... <laughs> Near long, but I mean, I ain't gonna lie. No, I, I give him the tie. Okay, I'm the not bo- giving the favorites. The boondocks in this Christmas. In this Christmas, I love this Christmas. I play this Christmas probably every June, Christmas. Nigga, I June. play. I honestly play that movie every Christmas for my family as when it's I a holiday. when I have one. It's a classic. Yeah. It's a holiday classic. Absolutely. It's a black Christmas special. It's great, and it's still it's more current than a yeah. lot of other ones. But I mean, I will say I will also play Friday. Duh, that's for a, my family, for my kids, for my kids yeah. as well. Like ten, once you, yeah. They can so I mean, you, yeah. it's a tie, man. I mean, at that's, the a, end that's day, a tie. I'm sorry, I can't get past it. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. It's a tie. It's a tie. I wouldn't even be able to do that. Deciding is just Mm-mm. insane. Not happening. Regina King and Neil Long, two great black women. Two great phenomenal Fantastic. black. Go Celtics. Actresses. Celtics in five. Celtics in five. Wow. I'm only rooting for the That's Celtics. That's crazy. That's not even my team. I'm, and she actually just said team. that on the podcast. She said Celtics. Did you watch the game last night? No, I didn't. It was a lot of bullshit. 
Yeah, I heard. I be seeing it on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, that's Can't yeah. Believe I, I didn't watch the game last night. My bad, y'all. I was busy. Tired. I'm rooting for the Celtics strictly off the fact that Nia Long is the head coach's partner. That's because my team ain't in the finals. Y'all hear that? So I don't that's care. the truth. She mean that? I mean it. Go I, Celtics. I, and the head coach is black. Come on. I, I'm going. I've been conflicted, but I think the Celtics might pull it out. But it might get it oh, might get to sure. seven. I'm thinking Celtics and six, but it might get to seven. It depends. It's two one right now. Yeah, they're not going out there in no five. This is a real basketball. Yeah, like how we saw last night. <laughs> but for our male actors, yes, versus yes today. Yikes! Yikes! We have two names that are already mentioned before in our top are. five list. Uh, that is Omar Epps mm-hmm. versus Lorenz Tate. Mm-hmm. Now, Kev, black men who've held their ranks in cinema and television yep. year after year, generations of black people love them. But if we go on versus, you know, Lorenz coming out the gate. He was on Menace. He was in Menace. He was. He is Menace. He is the Menace to society. He's, he's the Menace. He's the one for real. Inkwell, cute little, you know what I'm saying? Dead President, legendary Love Jones. Yeah. Wild Fools Fall in Love. He was in Waste Deep with Tyrese. He was in Girl Strip. <gasps> no way that's Lorenz. The big Damn. buff nigga is Lorenz Tate. In waist deep. That's a crazy. He was a cousin who damn near got the boy kidnapped. I don't wow. watch Power, but I know he was in Power, holding it down. He was on the episode of The Fresh Prince. Oh my goodness, Lorenz Tate's. I don't want to say best role, but there was this show only lasted was ten it? episodes. Nineteen ninety four. It was called South Central. It was a TV show, and it was from the creators of Moesha. This was this was so gangster. This show was real gangster. Like Moesha. It showed Crenshaw and like black areas of LA, but this was rougher. This was Mama on food stamps. Oldest son got shot. I got an adoptive uh boy who has I don't know if he has special needs, but he doesn't really talk. All of that. Yeah. Sister mad because she gotta take care of house and home. Mama work at the grocery store, lost the job. Like it's it's real good. It's Everybody all of black, that. Yeah. On your black ass. Community. Yeah. So not soul food. Uh South Central, one of one of Lorenz Tate's best role. But if we go look at uh, Omar Epps, we talking about love and basketball. We talking about Quincy McCall. Lorenz say he was also in Biker Boys, which is a <laughs> classic movie. Classic movie. I've okay. watched Biker Boys a lot when I was younger. I just looked that up and saw that a part of the catalog, which is nuts. That's a. It gave me a what's that? What's what's that thing called? What? I can't even think of the word. Deja vu. It's not deja vu, but something like that. You thought about it. I it was on your mind. It. Yeah. It was in the warehouse. 2003 classic. Biker Boys. Yeah. Okay. I think my phone just froze. Yikes. Which is pretty crazy. But, I mean, you can't compete with Omar Epps, if we're being honest. Could he? <laughs> he can't. <laughs> <laughs> Omar Epps has juice, higher learning. Yeah. He was in Don't Be a Menace for, like, all of four minutes. Yeah. Um, Scream Two. He died in the beginning with Great. Jada. I like yeah for like the eight minutes. Yeah, I like there was a cute couple. They looked great for the time they were on screen. I was like, yeah. this is black and beautiful. This is sweet, nice. And then yeah. he was yeah in the ear. Yikes. Come he on, was right. in the wood. Love the wood. He was in the wood. In too deep. Loving basketball, yeah, of course. Good, yeah. He was in Almost Christmas, Fatal Affair, Whitney along. So he got some hits. He got he in there. He in there. I have my answer. I have mine as well. Wanna say it on three? Yeah. One, two, three. Lorenz Omar Tate. Epps. Ah! <laughs> I think of Lorenz. Did I think that was not gonna happen? No. You thought we were gonna say the same person? You thought we were gonna say Omar? No. I knew we weren't gonna say the okay. same person. <laughs> but Love Jones got me, I'm sorry. It, it, I think it, Jews got me. Yeah, Jews and loving uh, yeah. basketball. Yeah, just those two alone. I feel like you couldn't. You really could even throw the wood in there to be honest. Honestly, you could throw the wood. In and there. then Lorenz, you, for me, you got you know menace to society. Although you 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 threw up ways deep, which kind of threw me off and, and, and put me in a <laughs> conflicted situation. But I just knew, I knew my dog Quincy, man, my dog Q. I just couldn't do he it. He was fine in loving basketball, but he was a hooper. 
A yeah. bucket getter. Yeah. That's what he was. He was his a generational was bucket. Too. Yeah, he was swag. He, he was, was swag. Was... The plot of the movie was great too. Yeah. I, I love it. From, soft, yeah. soft love movie. Like, you know, yeah. I play you for what? Okay, see, that's when it gets corny. Your heart. I'm not playing no nigga for nothing. That's just me. <laughs> <laughs> that's just me. Whoa. But in terms of love and basketball, it's great. It worked. It made sense. She had to get her nigga back. She has to. Monica was the type to go get what she wanted. Facts. If that was being a starting five at USC. Winning a championship overseas or going to the WNBA? Like give her, her flowers. Go ahead, like, give her flowers right now. Young, give young. her that praise. That little bank job ain't mean nothing. She said, Psh, "WNBA me, please." Facts. And did it. She went to go get a bucket, and in the end, I like that. She got a bucket. I like, and the nigga and the baby. <laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> Before we get out of here. Mm-hmm. Got some quotes for that ass. Yeah, you. Come on. Come on, thug. Let me see what you're talking about. I got some quotes for that ass. Let me see what so you're I feel about. like you should know. Stop I'm playing. Finna, I'm finna present the first one. Stop playing. Even if you haven't seen the movie, you need to know the title. Stop playing. You ready? Yeah, you. <clears throat> Gotta get my vocals. Sorry, let me get my vocals. Come on, nigga. Stop playing. <clears throat> She's your... Queen to be, <laughs> your queen to be forever. Okay. A queen who do whatever. Okay. You know, you know where he's going. I yes. got you. I got okay. you. I got okay. You. okay. <laughs> Coming to America. Okay. <laughs> Come on, man. Stop hey. playing. I figured if I sung it, man, stop playing with me. Okay. Okay. Come on, man. No, you ain't gonna get this. She. You ain't gonna get this quote. Come on, man. I'm one for one. Stop. Stop playing. Mm. Let me get number two. You ready? Mm-hmm. See, this one, it's fine. Divine, sublime, and right on time. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Tell me what it is. Oh, uh, man. Tell me what you're... Do it one more time. Let me get one more one more line. See, this swine, it's fine, divine, subline, and right on time. Swine, what they doing? <laughs> Let me get another hint. Okay. They eating, they eating barbecue. They eating barbecue... And they standing around a girl. That's that's like the whole scene. Man. You know this movie. You this is a movie that like is so obscure. But if it's, you black, can't. if you black, this can't be what I think. Though. <laughs> I don't know. What you think it is? It's not. I don't know. Yes, you do, bro. Okay, you've seen the movie. It's it's recent. It's kind of fairly recent. Okay. Mid two thousands, late mid two thousands, late two thousands. This is not Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins. Yes, is the it? fuck it is. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm like, bro, this can't be Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins. I swear to God, I thought I might, bro. You, think you thought I wouldn't go quote Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins? Yeah, literally. It's a classic film. Why would I not? Quote what? Yes. It, yeah. What? Yeah. Yo, that showed. Up, I knew what it was. I didn't answer the wrong. I don't I, know why you wouldn't have. Just think Said that. It. What? Uh, what? Mm-mm. What? Yo, I knew it, bro. Trust yourself. I Trust should've. your instinct. I definitely should. Well, hey, look. That's two for two. If I'm not mistaken. Two-ish. That's two for two. That's two for two on the day. Come on, man. Number three for three, man. Ride me out. This is so. Let's go. Come Ready? I gotta say it in. The, I gotta say it in. High ah, let's go. Oh, the deception. The betrayal. Man, you deceived me. What? Oh, the deception. The betrayal. Man, you, you, what did you say? Man, you deceived me. Oh, the deception. The betrayal. It's a comedy. Oh, my God. Man, you deceived me. Can I get another quote? Okay. Negro, please. Man, it's white chicks. <laughs> <laughs> 
was on the ground. Oh, that was, was still him. Yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't. I didn't even need that second quote. I didn't need that Negro second quote. Negro, please. I was white chicks. Oh, man. You, you, two, you two for three? That's three for three. No. Honestly, that's three I for three. I get you couldn't get it off the first quote because that's in the same section. It's in the same Literally. Scene. He said the same right though. You just you weren't good at playing Terry Crews. No, but if you but you know you know how he says that line. He's on the ground and he's, he's, like, <laughs> he's moving his head like this. Oh, the deception. I bet people watch her probably, bro. I knew that one off the rip. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I still went three for three. I don't Negro, care. please. I'm putting that. <laughs> I'm putting that in the book. I'm going three for three. I don't care. Write it down. Y'all let us know what, what y'all do. think. Please let them know that Isaac, this is a competition and you need to come harder. No, that means you, you got two points. You need to come harder. You coming for the king, man. You best come correct. Where that's from? Oh, wait. You don't know. You don't even know. Is it a black movie? TV show. I've heard it. What is it? The Wire. Oh, I kind of I figured that's what you were. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. Thank you guys for tuning in. Ain't no thank you. Like, <laughs> we're not shutting it down just yet. You gonna try to hit? What you trying to do? Oh, I thought you. you know, I thought I thought he was. You know, actually, I do feel kind of played that you had kind of came by my top about one of the quotes. So actually, on the spot, give me another one. You want another one? I want one more quote. One more quote, y'all. To let her know that I really do this shit. I does this. Yeah. Come on, man. You can't even get the white Stop chicks playing. quote. I got it. No, you didn't. If I got it, then tell me I got you it. You didn't then. get it until I said the most famous shit he's known for in the movie. You didn't have Next to. Next to the singing. You didn't have to do that. Exactly. I'm waiting. Shut the fuck up. I think you're going to get this one. This one's too easy. Let's go. If you get this one, you're just going to have three points instead of four. Because nah. you, you didn't get white chicks. That does not count. Yes, it does. You think my sister a hoe or something? You think she a fucking toy? I know. That's too easy. I don't even want to say what movie that's from, man. That's the wood. Yeah. Come on, Stacy. I like the way he said it. He was... Think my sister a fucking hoe? Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I want a competition. Man, fuck Jesse Jackson. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. I want that's the only time I'm gonna say it too. I know who said this. Okay, well what did they say it in? This is Chris Tucker saying that. Are you serious? Get the fuck out of here, cause no, it's not. Chris Tucker ain't say fuck this Jackson. No. No. You want another hint? Yeah, give me another. I mean, hint. sorry, I didn't mean another hint. I mean, want another try? <laughs> yeah, give me, give me another try. No, you gotta give me another guess. No, give me another hint. Mm mm. He like. <laughs> <sighs> Man, fuck Jesse Jackson. <laughs> I did the same movement he did too. You got me with movie. It's Cedric the Entertainer in Barbershop. They all sitting around it. You're king, right? Uh. You, you the one. And I ain't that. I ain't searched that. That just came to me. Man, just, nigga ain't see barbershop in so long, so you. Come on, you know, man. You know how you yeah, <laughs> man, he got the the the, the, the half fro. Man, uh-huh. foot Jesse Jackson. Man, two out of three. I'm three out of four. Thank you guys for. I'm still up on the scope. Episode. I ain't gonna stop, and I'm up on the scope. Yeah. I've enjoyed the show. Please come back. We got some more five for you. No, thank you. Days. Please, thank you again. Have a nice day. Come back every day. Enjoy the show. Podcast by TFC. The film culture is right there. Post it right there. Check the link. Subscribe. Tune in every day. Next day, tomorrow, and yesterday. Please. We thank you for your support. We love y'all for everything y'all do. Y'all rocking with us. We rock, we rock with, with you. <laughs> Straight up, man. Thank y'all again. And this is Kavoski signing off for the day. Peace out. Ah! Deuces.